This is an example of time-based email creative. It has universal support and renders wherever images are enabled. We're currently viewing it under Outlook 2007. If you look towards the top, you'll see a countdown reading 1 hour, 40 minutes and 39 seconds. The countdown is generated at the point of open. It's persistent, so if we were to check back in 20 minutes, it would read 1 hour, 20 minutes and 39 seconds. We can actually quickly view this work in here. Now it reads 1 hour, 39 minutes and 54 seconds. This has obvious benefits. Normally when you receive a sale email, it will say something like sale ends 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Whereas with our technology, the time zone becomes irrelevant. As the user will see the exact time remaining regardless of when they open the email or which time zone they are in. This reinforces a sense of urgency and allows for greater recall. The countdown is not the only time-based element within this email. You'll also notice the, the two arrows here. The arrows are time-based animated sprites. Their position is determined by a script depending on the current time. So if we only had 30 minutes left to the cell, the arrows would have moved right and they'd be positioned here. You'll also notice the 30% off. It changes color depending on the time frame. So with two hours left, it would be green, one hour yellow, and as we only currently have a minute left, it's bright red. Once we hit the deadline, once our two hours are up, we can serve up a fallback message. So it could be something like, you know, sorry you missed our cell, here's, a, here's an offer for 10% off. And hopefully our, our deadline is up and we can actually see that. Yes, here we go. So as we, we hit our two hour deadline, we now see different content. Where we had a, a countdown, it now says sell over. Where we had our time-based sprites, it now says lunch break sale has ended. And in place of our 30% off, it now tells us that, you know, sorry you missed our sale. And it serves up a, a secondary fallback offer for all those subscribers who didn't open the email in time. So these all act as visual cues so that you know, the user can open the email and just at a glance they know when the sale ends or when the webinar begins. You'll also notice that um, we can use any kind of font that you like, so any custom font. You can also overlay these dynamic elements against a solid background or a, against an image. If you have any further questions, you can contact me, Anna Yeaman, at anna at stylecampaign.com.